Hi, it's Susan here and welcome to In The Craft Room. Today we're very lucky, we've got our hands on issue number 10 and we're making the diamond pinwheel patch. This is what the diamond pinwheel patch looks like. So with issue number 10, we get our fabrics and our instructional guide. The fabrics that come with issue number 10 to make the diamond pinwheel patch are the teal gingham, this one here which is called elephant, we've got the pink stripe and the pink floral which we've used in a few of our patches so far. To make this patch, I've removed the template page for our shapes and pieces and they recommend that you print off or make four of the templates. So I've printed off four and I'm going to cut them out. That's one lot down, three more to go. So I've cut out the templates. I've got four of B, four of D, and four of F. I've now located the cutting guide in the issue. I'm going to lay out the fabrics and place the templates down. So the first placement we're going to work out is the teal gingham fabric. We're going to need four of the B templates. And four of the D templates. And they fit quite well. So on the elephant we need four of the F template. The pink floral we need four of the F, but I'm going to work out the elephant pieces before I do that because I will need the F templates. I'll also need the F templates for the pink stripe. We're going to cut out eight by folding the fabric in half and cutting out four initially. I'm now going to pin the templates on and cut them out. So the templates have been pinned onto the gingham and the elephant fabric. I'm now going to cut them out. Thank you. 
So we've cut out our F template triangles from the elephant fabric. I'm now going to cut out the gingham teal shapes. So we've got our B, D and F templates cut out from the teal gingham and the elephant fabric. I'm now going to remove the templates and put these shapes aside and then work on the pink stripe and the pink floral. We're going to need the F template. I'm going to work on the pink floral first. I'm going to lay out the templates and cut them out. I've pinned on the F template onto the pink floral. It's time to cut. So we've cut out our teal gingham, our elephant, and now our pink floral fabric. I'm going to be using the same F templates to cut out eight from the pink stripe. To cut out eight from the pink stripe, I'm going to fold the fabric in half with the wrong sides together. On the guide, it illustrates that the lines from the pink stripe run vertically. So I've got the well-used F template pinned onto the pink stripe. We're going to cut out the eight triangles. There's our first two. So there's our eight pink stripe triangles. As much as I want to lay out our formation for the diamond pinwheel patch, I've got a little bit more work to do. As with all of our patches, I'm going to trace or line in the six millimeter hemline or seam line. And to do that on the back of the fabric, I'm going to measure from the edge to the inside six millimeters and I'm going to rule it in with my pencil and ruler. Our six millimeter seam lines have been ruled in with pencil on the back of the fabric around all of the edges of the fabric pieces. The exciting bit next is to place our diamond pinwheel patch in its formation on the table.
So here's our diamond pinwheel patch laid out in front of us. It took a while of fiddling about. If you look really carefully at the diagram, you can see that the pink stripe runs horizontally through the square and vertically. So watch out with the placement of your fabric and your pinstripe lines. So here we have it, all the prep is done. I'm not going to be sewing it today. There's a lot of pieces in this one and it's taken a very long time to prepare. I followed the instructions so carefully and I look forward to seeing you next time when I follow the instructions really carefully and sew it all together. Thank you for joining me in the craft room today. Don't forget to like and subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye.